Yo, what's up? On YouTube, there are a lot of grown men who act like kids. And in this video, Detective DJ actually came back from the dead to solve one question. Who is the most childish YouTuber? We're gonna look at three different YouTubers who act like kids, and remember, they're adults acting like kids. And by the end of this video, we're gonna message these YouTubers and message their family members to see if they actually act like that in real life. I mean, you guys know a lot of YouTubers act fake for the camera, so this video is gonna be awesome because we're gonna find out who's real and who's fake. Welcome to These Grown Men Are Acting Like Kids For Views On YouTube, part 64 or something. Before we actually look at these childish YouTubers, this video is sponsored by Surfshark. Have you ever been online looking at shoes and then the next day some ads pop up trying to sell you some shoes? Like, that's weird how websites can just track what you're doing. But with Surfshark, you don't have to worry about that at all. Surfshark is a VPN that protects you when you're online. A lot of shows on Netflix require you to live in a certain country to go ahead and watch it. But if you have Surfshark, you can watch any show that you want. You can stay protected while you're online and you can watch whatever you want by clicking the link in the description and using my code DJCook. With my code, you get 85% off and you get three free months of Surfshark. That's the best deal I have ever heard of. And since they've given me access to Surfshark, my online experience has felt a lot better. Also, if you use my code, you get a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk for trying it out yourself. Our first YouTuber is Aldo's World. He's 26 years old, but he's making videos that a 13 year old make. I don't know if that sounds weird to you, but that sounds weird to me. Plus, his name Aldo's World kind of sounds like Elmo's World, so he's already off to a bad start. Looking at his channel though, we already see why he's childish. Five Nights at Freddy's is real? Calling Freddy Fazbear at 3am? Like no, it's a game. How could it be real? And here's my favorite one. Don't play with Elmo at 3am. So what about all those little kids in their crib? They wake up in the middle of the night at 3am and they start playing with their Elmo doll. What's wrong with that? And also. Why is a grown man making a video about Elmo? Isn't that a kid thing? Now enough of my talking. Now let's actually go ahead and watch a video by Aldo's World that says don't watch Peppa Pig videos at 3 a.m. I are gonna be watching the video of Peppa the Pig that you should not be watching at 3 a.m. That's why go and smash that like button. Subscribe to the- He's acting like Peppa Pig is talking, but it's obviously his voice. I kind of want to see what videos he's actually talking about though, because he says if you watch these videos, creepy stuff is gonna happen. Here we go! I like how the only thing that it says is Peppa the Pig video, like nothing else but just Peppa the Pig video. Whoa, okay, first off, why is the music freaky? What the hell? Oh my god. Now after he watches this video, here's what happens to him. Do you think this stuff is real or fake? Okay guys, clearly no reply. I'm pretty sure that this stuff is fake, but... Hold on guys, I'm gonna get a call. Yo, what the hell? Peppa the Pig? Guys, Peppa the Pig's calling? Hold on, this must be a prank. Hold on, let me... Oh, dang, he watched a YouTube video and then a cartoon character called his phone. Yeah, that makes sense. The whole rest of this video was just him walking around his house and then his lights keep turning on and off. Yeah, I'm sure Peppa Pig was the one doing that. This next video is called 24 hours overnight in a stranger's house. Okay, first, 24 hours isn't overnight. Overnight is actually 12 hours. So how could it be a 24 overnight challenge? And also, you're spending the night in a stranger's house? That's illegal. I actually really want to see this video and I hope he gets caught. had this on. There's this guy I used to go to high school with. I haven't seen him in a real long time, but you know, I did my research and I found out where he lives. So we're gonna try to do the overnight challenge inside his house. I'm gonna find a way inside his house. We're gonna sneak into his- Isn't that still weird though? You haven't seen him since high school. It's not like he's your best friend. This guy in a really long time, but I just found out that he started making YouTube videos. So I figured, you know, if I sneak into his house, I won't get into a lot of trouble. How does that make sense? Just because his friend does YouTube doesn't change the fact that you're breaking and entering into somebody's house. And did I mention that he's wearing a Scream outfit? Like that scary costume thing? So even if his old friend sees him, he's gonna think he's a random person. He's not gonna recognize him. So he got into the house and he immediately did this. Uh, I don't see anything interesting. 
All of a sudden, the dude comes home and he's hiding in the shower. This is where he finally catches him. Why do you have a camera? Oh. His friend acted so normal about it, even though he had a mask on, so I'm pretty sure this video is fake. Now, I'm sure our second YouTuber makes even worse videos. He's been on my channel one time before, and I want to see if he's still super childish like he was before. He's the loudest, most annoying YouTuber you probably will ever watch. It's NNA Productions. It's been about five months since we talked about him, and it looks like nothing has changed about him. This dude's still making videos about Sonic. Guys, if I spin all these 10 fidget spinners in 10 seconds, then you guys have to smash that like button. Deal, guys, let's do this. 3, 2, 1, let's go. He's still playing with fidget spinners and begging for likes. I'm pretty sure he's still stuck in 2016. I hope he ends up messaging me back at the end of this video when we message all these YouTubers because I really want to talk to him and see why he acts like this. This video says, do not drink Roblox piggy potion at 3 a.m. Oh my god, I turned into a pig! I advise everybody to turn down their volume a couple of spots because this dude does not know how to stop yelling. We are gonna be drinking Piggy's Potion at 3 a.m. in the morning and see what happens, guys, all right? Piggy from Roblox. For those who doesn't know who is Piggy from Roblox, boom, this is... I'm just gonna skip to the part where he turns into a pig because I kind of want to see it. Do what? I actually just drank it. Halfway through drinking that, he realized what he was doing. He realized that he spends his life screaming into a camera and acting like a little kid. No, 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 no. This is actually happening, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Look at this. You guys are, look at me. What is going? <laughs> oh, my God. No. No, 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 no. This is not happening right now. I'm piggy! He used a filter to make him look like a pig. Oh my god. <laughs> Obviously, this is just a filter, but for all you guys who think it's real, all you little kids, where are the pig ears in the mirror? I mean, you can see his pig ears in the camera, but when you look in the mirror, it's not there. No way. This dude has a girlfriend? This cannot be real. There's no way it's real. Calling my girlfriend at 3 a.m.? What is wrong with her? He has to be paying her money to be in this video. I gotta see this. Morning. I can't believe I'm going to be calling my own number tonight, guys. Wait, what? what? Calling your own number doesn't do anything. So come on, now let's just stop messing out on and FaceTime her number. Let's go. I like how he has a whole intro for this video and it's just such a dumb video idea. Sure. Alright guys, she sent an hey to her own number. Alright guys, did you get any messages? Can we just take some time to realize what these two people are doing? They're calling and texting their own number. Ah! Of course nothing's gonna happen. This is easily the dumbest video I've ever seen. Yo, like we have been trying to call them, like FaceTime them for a few times, but they keep on hanging up yeah. our guys, and we text them, they like don't respond to us anymore. Yo! Answer, answer, answer. Oh answer God. the call, they're calling us. It's you! I'm your twin. Oh my God. It's you. Yeah, why are you laughing? Why are you calling me? I want to know why do you look like me? Oh my I'm God. your devil twin. <gasps> nice. Another video of them using Snapchat filters to make them look different. If anybody actually gets scared while watching this video, I don't know what to tell you. <gasps> Yo, what do you want? Where's my girlfriend? What do you do with her? She's gone. What do you mean she's gone? Stop laughing, give her back. I want her back. Just saying, if that was real, I would have punched her. If a devil girl was in your living room and she took your girlfriend, I'm pretty sure you would do whatever you would have to do to get rid of her. But he's over here like, hey, give her back, come on. Oh, I just realized he has merch. Like, look at this. NNA Squad? 
Who is wearing this? So far, we've looked at two YouTubers who literally are acting like kids, and this next YouTuber is the same thing. Just look at this. Calling Steve from Minecraft at 3 a.m.? It is 3.03 in the morning, a.m. right now, and we found a number on the internet that says you can call someone named Steve on Minecraft. I'm sure you guys know who that is. He's the main character in Minecraft, and supposedly he answers in real life on a FaceTime call. These people must not understand that it is not possible to FaceTime a character, a made up character that's in a video game. Hello, you have called me Steve from Minecraft. Right here is my Minecraft chest. If you want this Minecraft chest, I have it in the kitchen, your kitchen. There is $10,000 of items in there. I'm gonna leave it on your kitchen and you need to break into it. Good luck. Bye. OMG. Now they're acting like Steve? Bruh. This is a whole extra layer of fakeness. NNA Productions would just call them and then answer and that would be it for the video. But this dude is literally acting like Steve from Minecraft. Ow. And he Ow. said it was $10,000 worth of stuff he really in it. was here. And this is where the video starts to get horrible. For the next 10 minutes, they try to open the chest with the things that were on the table, and finally they open. Oh my, no, the MacBook Pro. Pro yeah, it's a MacBook Pro, and it's the latest one. Oh my goodness. No way. Oh, oh my, it's in there. It's in there. Guys. Here's what else was inside. I don't want to show you guys 20 minutes of random footage that they added in, so they got Beats, an Apple TV thing, an iPhone 11 Pro, but wait, you have to see this part. I think right, I'm definitely right winning. Now. Okay. Okay, I see a yellow box. Ooh, yellow I box. I see a mysterious yellow box. That looks awesome. Guys, when it's a yellow box and it's mysterious, you wonder what could be in it. Okay. So I'm just thinking there could be something really cool. Shh. Remember, it's still 3 a.m. It, it's got like a logo on it, like a bird's crest or something. Okay. Oh, in the yellow box is another yellow box wait what we're getting played around right this now. this looks really expensive two yellow boxes please somebody explain to me how they didn't see them out of the corner of their eyes he was right Good there evening. they also got a watch another type of phone airpods a twenty thousand dollar watch a ds what the three gift cards another watch and another phone. And now they're calling Steve again because they opened everything in that chest. Literally. I wanna know why he gave us all this stuff for free. $10,000, maybe more? This Rolex could be $50,000. Hello again, <laughs> boys. I'm here with a bigger chest this time. Imagine trying to sleep at 3 a.m. and your neighbor is being that loud. And I watched the whole video the whole 30 minute video and they didn't even open the ender chest. How do you make a 30 minute video but not finish it off? But they have so many videos actually talking about this ender chest. They have a video called, what's inside the ender chest? They have a video called, finally opening the ender chest? Why don't they just open it already? They're using it for views. Now look, we've seen way too many cringy videos today. I think we've had enough, but now it's time to actually talk to these YouTubers. I'm gonna be messaging Aldo's World, NNA Productions, NNA Productions' girlfriend, and these two guys that we just watched. Also, I'm gonna to try to message any of their family members or friends to see if they actually act this childish in real life. This might take a week or two, so I'll be back once I get some messages. One week later. So it's been a week, and we got messages from two out of the three YouTubers. First off, Aldo's World. I wanted to try to fool him into thinking that I was going to create the same type of videos that he does and I wanted to know if he was acting or not. I told him to message me back because it was important and then when I sent him a message saying, do you fake the videos or are they real? He said, I thought you said it was important. So basically he dodged my whole question Bruh. and he answered it himself. I told him I just wanted to know and then he told me to keep doing what I'm doing because my channel was doing really good. I didn't want to keep messaging him because he was being nice to me, so I guess he does fake his videos. By the way he was typing and the way he was texting me, it seemed like he was kind of hiding something from me, so I think we can all agree that he does fake his videos. Now, NNA Productions. 
He messaged me back, but I did not expect me and him to talk about the things that we actually talked about. I expected it to be a lot more different. I told NNA Productions that I was going to start making YouTube videos where I did 3am challenges and explored abandoned places, and I wanted to know how he acts so well. He told me, it's not acting, and then he said, wait, aren't you the guy that exposes people like that? I didn't know that he knew who I was. I didn't know that he knew I cleaned up YouTube. I told him, yeah. And then we started to talk about my old video where I exposed him. That one video where I said I found the worst YouTuber ever. He told me that he was getting death threats and things like that from that video. So I started to feel bad for him. Yeah, DJ Cook feeling bad for NNA Productions. I told him that I just cringe when I see his videos. But after talking to him, I kind of respect him now. I told him that I was sorry that my fans were doing that to him. And whenever I expose a YouTuber, I never want you guys to go hate on them. I just want them to change their content. He told me something that I loved. He said that he doesn't really like making those videos, but that's what his fan base likes. Slowly, he's gonna start making better videos with more story behind it and less acting. I told him, yeah, that's a great idea to make better videos. And he said it himself. One of the worst YouTubers that I've ever seen said that he's gonna start making better videos. So once again, I think we just cleaned up YouTube. You can click on any of the videos on screen to watch another video where we go ahead and expose some of the worst YouTubers on this platform. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you doing? Like, honestly, what are you doing? But yeah, watch another video.